so did you think of any stories for the moments in life that you made into a joke and when you didn't make into yeah. a joke? Oh, I'm excited. So which one do you want first? Your choice. Okay. So uh, one that is like a fundamental part of my stand-up routine <laughs> is, well, we already talked about my boob job, which yeah. is like, that's a big part of it. <laughs> like I have a boob job joke where I'm like, um, you know, like I got a boob job just to realize the problem was my personality all along <laughs> oh yeah i have heard that joke yeah i forgot <laughs> that's so good yeah but i think one that was like more of a life experience and like with dating and stuff is um when i was in college i dated a guy and i lost my virginity to him and i thought i was in love and then we broke up because he was being like really emotionally distant and i had to break up with it was one of those you know like when you have to break up with the person because like, they're like, no, I love you. Like, I still want to be with you, but like, they aren't showing it. Mm. And so like, you kind of are forced to be like, well, this is over because like, you're not present. Yeah. Um, even though you're saying all of these things. So I like broke up with him and then I went abroad and then he started hooking up with guys and he came out as like bi and I was like that's fine like whatever mm -hmm. and when I came back from study abroad we like hooked up a couple more times and then he felt really toxic and I was like I'm done hooking up with you like it feels like you're using me to like test your sexuality and then he like later came out as gay and oh shit was like done yeah and I was like frustrated with him because <laughs> I was just like you could you could have just have known <laughs> Like you had to come back for seconds, you know? Yeah. But I always say like, I, and I'm bisexual. So I'm like, when I tell the crowd, I'm like, I'm queer. And I'm like, but don't worry, I'm only gay because I lost my virginity to a gay guy. And that's how it spreads. <laughs> <laughs> that's then, a perfect example of like a real life shit you went through yeah, that's such a good joke yeah and then i say like i wish i should have known he was gay like every time i asked him to go down on me he was like yas queen <laughs> <laughs> which is not true i, know, I definitely yeah, made that silly. part up but like it. he definitely was like super femme and i feel like that only said more about like my sexuality too that i was like attracted to him <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> 